Today I will be adding ink blending to create four dimension on a one layered stamped card. Stay tuned. Hello and welcome to Creative Coloring with Era. I love creating one layered panel and especially love to add four dimension. The look on a person's face when they realize that everything is on the same level and it's just an illusion of dimension is fantastic to see. So I will use the Golden Day stamp set and I will use Pink Pearl Crisp Dye Ink to stamp the outline stamp on Cressola White Cardstock. This is 80 pounds. The outline is just for my reference. I will then place a stencil and blend the pink pearl crisp dye ink over the entire area and cover it completely. For this I will use a small blending tool. Once done, I will remove the stencil. Next, I will place the A2 layer and stamp it with Coral Bliss crisp dye ink. Then I will place the A3 layer and stamp it with Rubellite Crisp Dye Ink. I will then place the A4 layer and stamp this in Grapevine Crisp Dye Ink. At this point, you can also stamp the flower center. I forgot about that. It does look very beautiful. The color combination is one of my favorites. Now cover the flower with the mask and stamp the leaves. B2 layer in Marshland crisp dye ink and for the B3 I used Sea Forest crisp dye ink and for the B4 layer I used Mangrove Root crisp dye ink. Now I will keep the mask in place and use the small blending tool to add the green inks that I used to stamp the leaf layers to add some inking around the flower. This will ground my image. How dark or light you want your inking to be is your choice. The main thing to note is maintaining a balance and not adding uniform ink blending all around the image. To add depth and the four dimension I mentioned earlier, I will switch to darker greens and a mini blending brush since it is more compact and apply ink heavy handedly onto the left hand side to show more depth and deeper shadows. The light source is on the top right so obviously the flower's shadow will be on the leaves and it will be the darkest there. While on the top right I will still be applying a little color even though my light source is there. Otherwise it will look very weird if I don't apply any ink there. Now you can stop right here. The card looks beautiful. Stamp the flower center and sentiment and you are good to go. But if you want to step it up, I will place uh, the mask on the flower and it, it's going to be a little offset so that some of my flower is visible. And then I will add fine black uh, splatters. And then I will also add gold splatters from the metallic watercolor 14 pan set. Next, I thought I would doodle around the leaves and flowers with a fine liner pen. It adds a unique touch to your card. This doesn't need to be perfect and it's quite relaxing. I often do this. Again, it is not necessary. You can completely skip this step. Next, I will stem the flower center and the sentiment in obsidian pigment ink. I hope you like the ink colors that I used. I love these colors and the four dimension I achieved with ink blending. You can do so much more if you bring pencils to the mix too. Thank you so much for watching. Bye. Hello there, did that video just spark your creativity? And do you want more project ideas and inspiration videos too? Well, if you do, please make sure that you subscribe to the Alt New YouTube channel. Also, make sure that you do click that notification bell so you don't miss a video. Thanks so much for watching, bye-bye.